Hi guys, Tim here with another Flipper Zero video. Fairly quick one on this one. We're just going to talk about the Bluetooth spam and some of the consequences of using that. Uh, it's only available in the latest development version of the Extreme firmware. Uh, I have already put this onto my home screen, BLE spam. And um, I've got set up here a game that we can load up a monster. This is just Monster Hunter. It can be any sort of game, really. Um, this is the current game I'm playing. This is not a uh, endorsement or anything like that. It's not a paid promotion or anything of this game. I'm gonna put this over to the Android. Uh, we'll go to the Samsung Buds pop-up. And so I'll just run that to make sure that it comes up. See how it pops up with this? I'm just going to hit stop and close out of that. Let's take this scenario. You're in a group of friends. You're about to raid on a Pokemon gym. Or you're about to take out one of the high level monsters in your area. With a group of friends, you're about to raid it. And someone has this device called a Flipper Zero in their pocket and they just happen to run as soon as you hit that hunt button and you're about to start raiding so we hit the begin and they've activated this now I'm trying to play but I can't because this thing keeps popping up and it won't go away and I'm going to end up I can't attack. I just can't attack. Now, the only way to stop this from happening is disable your Bluetooth. But you can't disable Bluetooth easily. Alright, I've disabled Bluetooth and it's still going because a lot of devices have tried to catch up. I can't play. Still can't play. I've disabled my Bluetooth, but yet it's still popping up. What is going on? Until I hit this stop button, it's just going to keep coming up. And now I can play the game as per normal. I haven't even done any damage to it. I'm going to leave this hunt. But even disable my Bluetooth, it was still coming up with problems. Personally I would not recommend running any of these commands unless of course you're at the traffic lights in the car next to you the person sitting at their phone which is illegal but people still do it. I fully do not recommend using this especially the iOS i17 lockup crash. Now a lot of people use safety devices with their mobile phones um, there's a lot of personal alarms for elderly, there's a lot of um, glucose meters, stuff like that, that require a continuous connection to the mobile phone. If you're locking up an iPhone, and not this doesn't target one specific iPhone, this will target everything in the area. Same thing with Android, Samsung, it doesn't target one device. I originally first did this video, or attempted to do this video, and my wife messaged me halfway through going, are you messing with my stuff? Because it was sending her um, things on her phone while she was trying to use her device. I totally recommend do not use it unless you're proving a point. Um, so let's say you were doing an audit on a company and they rely heavily on mobile authentication um, to gain access to an important system you could then use this sort of attack to show that their systems the users can get locked out because they cannot access via their phones um, yeah, that's all I really wanted to explain in this video. It's going to, like I said, it's going to be a short one. It's only a, a few minutes long. And um, 
yeah if you like this sort of content please put a like on the uh, on the video subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of content and um, yeah put a comment below if you have a suggestion for a new video and um, we'll see you on the next one see ya